Hello, in this video, I'm just going to talk about my experience of how I went from absolutely no programming and JavaScript experience to getting a job as a JavaScript programmer in, for me, it was less than six months, which is pretty incredible. It might have been a little bit faster for me than for most, but uh, what I did is entirely reproducible. It might take you six, seven, eight, or nine months. Um, if you do the hack reactor route, it shouldn't take you longer than six months once you get into hack reactor. So let me just kind of share about my timeline really quickly. So early January, I had absolutely no experience, uh, no programming experience, no JavaScript experience. I started learning just, you know, at the way beginning of January. Um, if you look at my videos, um, my first tutorial video for Learn Coding Tutorials, this channel, was uh, January 12th, and that was right when I just started beginning learning how to program. So you can see here, this is my first video, January, well, this is my second video, January 15th. Um, so this was like right when I started learning programming. I was just kind of making videos of what I was learning, and in these videos, to be honest, I really had very little idea what I was doing. I found another tutorial, kind of modified it, and just kind of uh, imitated it. So everything in these videos was completely scripted. Um, I just barely knew what I was talking about, but just enough to make these videos. So January 15th, these videos, I was completely new to programming, even though they're pretty popular. If you type in uh, mean stack tutorial, I think I'm pretty high up. But so it's pretty cool how, oh, I'm actually the first one here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I got an experience making YouTube videos from uh, ACT prep stuff, so I was pretty good at making videos that looked pretty good. And so uh, just know that these videos are when I was pretty amateur and new to programming. Uh, let's see. So on January 28th, I applied to Hack Reactor after having studied for about three, three to four weeks. Uh, so I, I learned, I'm a pretty quick learner, so I picked up things pretty quickly. As you can see, I already made that mean stack tutorial by January 15th. On February 5th, I had my Hack Reactor interview, and I got admitted into Hack Reactor that same day. I think, uh, you know, they liked what they saw, and it happened pretty quickly for me. Um, and then March 23rd, I started attending Hack Reactor. I did the remote beta program, so I actually didn't have to go to San Francisco. I just did it from my home from Illinois, uh, so I did it remotely, and I would highly recommend the remote beta program. It was excellent, and it was just as good. If not, for me, it was actually better than being on-site because I, got to, uh, I didn't have to commute. I could eat my meals at home. I could fast forward through the les lectures. So uh, I would highly recommend the remote beta Hack Reactor program, although being on-site does have its advantages. You get to see people and interact with instructors. But for me, I think remote beta was a lot more efficient time-wise and just as effective and successful in terms of getting a job. June 16th is the official day that we started our job search. They don't want you to do the job search before uh, this day or before a certain day. And for me, it was just kind of incredible. That same day that I started, you know, I had already made my LinkedIn profile and had my online presence, so I'm sure it's been up there for a while. But I got contacted by a recruiter for CS Disco where I currently work that same day that I kicked off my job search. Um, the next day, June 17th, I actually met with the hiring manager of CS Disco, and he had me come in for an interview that Friday. So on June 19th, I went in to interview for CS Disco, and I received my job offer from CS Disco that same day. It seemed like an excellent company, so I didn't feel any need to look around and uh, see if there was a better offer anywhere, even though I had many other uh, offers for, not you know, offers, but invitations for interviews that I turned down because I accepted the job offer from CS Disco that same day. Um, and currently, I'm working for CS Disco and really enjoying it. Uh, I love programming. I love programming in JavaScript. I feel like every day I get to get paid to solve puzzles and build cool things. And let me just show you really quickly uh, just kind of what I'm building for CS Disco, just to kind of give you an idea of what I do for my job. So this is the app that I work on for CS Disco primarily. Uh, it's an app for lawyers. They allow lawyers to do e-discovery. So these are like emails. You can go in here 
there's a doc viewer. You can uh, search around, add redactions and stuff like that. Specifically, the team that I work on, we do something called workflow, which is basically this area right here where you can um, just edit stages. And you have no idea what this stuff is, but this is what I'm building. Uh, I write code that has touched pretty much all of these areas, and it's a ton of fun. I love going to work every day, uh, so that's what I do. Um, so yeah, what I did is entirely reproducible. For me, the secret was uh, Hack Reactor. It's not hype. Let me show you their website really quickly. Uh, here it is. So you can apply here, and then uh, their stats are amazing. So average set starting salary for their graduates is 105k. Mine was a little less than that, but I got a job in Houston and not San Francisco. So the cost of living is a lot lower. So I'm probably actually going to end up making more than most people who get jobs in San Francisco with 105K. Um, I'm perfectly happy with my salary. I just love what I do. Their uh, hiring rate or people who get jobs is 99%. Um, I don't know if that's gone down at all. Um, I, I think most people from my class did pretty well. I don't know if all of them got jobs. But uh, it's not hype. I'm proof that this 99% is is accurate. I mean, they, they don't lie about their stats. I got a job. So this is totally legitimate. They're by far the best uh, coding boot camp in the world. Uh, if you're going to choose one and you want to do JavaScript, uh, there's really no other option. It is $17,000. It's the most expensive one. But uh, for their remote beta program or for their remote program, they started a payment plan during my class that was pretty incredible. Um, it allows you to defer, let me just put it up here, it allows you to defer $15,000, uh, def I'll just put, I'm just explaining stuff. Uh, and basically you don't have to pay it back unless you get a job. So you don't have to ever pay this $15,000 until you get a job offer and start your working. And what happens after that is you pay a percentage of your salary for 12 months um, so you might not end up paying $15,000. I'm actually going to be end up paying less than $15,000 because uh, the percentage of my salary that they're taking for 12, month, 12 months end up, ends up being less than $15,000. So that is an incredible payment program. It makes taking the program pretty much absolutely no risk. And uh, they have a very, very high success rate. They teach you everything you need to know. They teach you how to write a great resume, get a great online presence, as well as how to uh, interview well. They give you a lot of mock interviews. And before I finish this video, just one last thing. Just some tips for preparing for the Hack Reactor interview, because that pretty much is the key to this. I'm not actually going to be able to teach you everything you need to know, because Hack Reactor's curriculum is pretty one of a kind. I can't just reproduce it. Uh, so I'm just going to recommend that you uh, prepare for Hack Reactor get in and then do the three-month program and then do the three-month three month job search and then uh, hopefully you'll get a job within that final three months which they will guide you through that entire process and they are very very good at it they have tons of people who devote their entire career to helping their students get jobs um, so first thing you want to do is you want to learn the basics of JavaScript I'm currently in the process of making some videos so uh, learn you know data types arrays, objects, and just all those basics. Uh, my video series is currently called Learn JavaScript Basics Tutorial Series. I currently have four videos out. I'm planning on making more. Uh, just basically everything you need to know in terms of the basics of JavaScript. And then uh, in the email they sent me after I got, uh, after I passed my admissions test, they have like a small little test for applying to even uh, sign up for an interview. In my email they said to read Eloquent JavaScript chapter 5 very carefully, which is about higher order functions. And really, the Hack Reactor interview is tough. They admit only 3% of their applicants, they say. But if you read this chapter 5 very carefully, that really is the key. If you understand it really well, there's a very, very good chance that you'll get in. So read it very carefully, take notes, be able to do all these things in this chapter really understand what it means to uh, pass in functions into other functions as arguments, higher order functions. So uh, that really is the key. You don't need to know much else. For me, 
you know, I did a bunch of JavaScript tutorials. Uh, so, and I made a bunch of tutorials also for frameworks like Angular and Backbone. It was helpful for me to become more familiar with JavaScript, but not necessary at all to get into Hack Reactor. Um, Hack Reactor will teach you all these frameworks and what you need to know about these. All you really need to get in is familiar with uh, familiarity with the two bullet points at the top, uh, the basics of JavaScript, as well as higher order functions. Uh, you know, do as much as you can with JavaScript to become as familiar as you can with it. But really, these are the key. And once you get into Hack Reactor, they'll teach you everything you need to know. So I'm not going to do that because there's no way that you could do it as efficiently and quickly as uh, how Hack Reactor would uh, teach you to do it. So that I'm going to make videos and tutorials, but really uh, Hack Reactor is essential in terms of because they can teach you how to interview well. They can teach you how to have a great resume and write a great cover letter. Uh, stuff that really only they can do. They have a curriculum that's GitHub based and uh, repository based, which I definitely can't recreate because it takes um, hundreds or thousands of man hours to create a curriculum like that. It's really excellent. It's really comprehensive. It's really systematic. So, uh, you know, $17,000, but compared to the salary you'll get after you finish it, it's really completely worth it, and I would highly recommend it. So uh, I can't recommend Hack Reactor highly enough. It worked really well for me. I ended up you know, going from nothing to a great job that I really like in less than six months, and uh, it pays great. The work is really enjoyable, and uh, I just really like JavaScript, and it's awesome. So keep up or keep track of the videos that I make. I'll make more videos about you know, the basics of JavaScript as well as just kind of uh, tutorials for random things that I find useful. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there was a period of about six or seven months or so where I didn't make any videos at all for this channel. And that's because I was busy in this process of doing Hack Reactor, applying for jobs, starting the job, and just trying to become familiar with it. But now I feel kind of more comfortable at my job, and I feel like I have the time to make some videos to help you guys out, maybe help you guys uh, reproduce the uh, process that I went through to go from nothing to a great job in less than six months. Again, it might take you a little longer, but what I did is not abnormal at all. There have been hundreds, I don't know, thousands, I don't know, just a lot of students who have gone through Hack Rector and had the exact same experience as I had, and they have great jobs. Uh, so yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best.